Jordan, a 2-1 win at Barnsley in your second game in succession, it, it doesn't really get much better than that, I suppose. No, it doesn't. I mean, um, it's good to be back and it's good to get two wins as well. Of course, you've uh, played well in both. We've only conceded two goals when you and Andy have been at the back together. What's Andy been sort of telling you? You know, Is it good to have him next year? Yeah, it's good to have um, Andy next to me with his experience. Um, I mean, he talks a lot, uh, keeps me uh, concentrating throughout the game, and it's good to have him next to me. Of course, we play the Championship side today, and you, you, you've only just come back and you've shown that you, you know you can compete at this level. So you must be sort of proud of that and also proud of the team to, to get the win as well. Yeah, it's, um, I came back a, about a week earlier than expected, but um, it was good to be back and obviously on the pitch. Um, it's good to see that I've handled being back uh, so soon well. Obviously you played Jason Scotland in the under-21s earlier this season. He came on as well. So what, I suppose you already knew exactly what he was going to throw at you. Um, yeah, I knew a bit about him. I mean, a uh, strong lad, not the tallest, but does use his body well. So I knew a bit about him and um, it's good to play against him again. Of course, playing in front of that many Coventry City fans, 2,900 travelled to Barnsley today. That's on top of the 1,200 uh, 1, travelled to Rotherham. Such a short space of time. This support's crucial, isn't it? It is, it is crucial, but it's great at the same time. I mean, um, the noise that they make keep <coughs> sorry the noise that they make is unreal and it keeps us going throughout the whole game you know it lifts us when we're struggling and um, keeps us going when we're on top so it, yeah the noise they make is great and it's good to see of course another festive period is over i'm sure the, the the lads in there are probably quite happy about that considering the amount of games they've had over such a short amount of time but how would you sum it up um yeah i think the, the lads will be happy that it's over but um I mean, you finish one game, you have one day off, come back in, and you've got a game the next day. But um, yeah, it's a it's a tough time. You have to really look at your lifestyle out of football, as well as when you're in training in that uh, period of time. But it's good to um, get those games in. Of course, you um, just coming back from injury against Rotherham, and then went and played the whole game against Rotherham, and then came came to play the whole game here. How have you been able to manage that, like in, in, with the legs in particular? Because that's, obviously that's where the injury was. Well, obviously earlier on in the season, I've been struggling with cramp and stuff. So I've just been doing the same stuff that I've been um, doing to prevent the cramp, and um, it seems to be working. I mean, uh, playing at centre half as well, it's a little bit less running than playing at right back. So I've been able to deal with it. I mean, in around the 80th minute, I've been feeling my legs about to go, but I've grinded through and got the last 10 minutes out.